what is the best furry movie? Hello, I'm Shadow Raccoon. And I'm Theodore Rabbit. And let's find out. So, you know, um, obviously there is a lot of furry movies out there. Um, you know, more than I could probably count. And I, you know, I thought it'd be more fun to very kindly ask our friend Truck the Bear to just give us a list of random movies. So, you know, we're not picking out just our favourites here. And we thought we'd just rank them from S tier all the way through to F, you know, the sort of one that you don't want to watch or might appear on my series, Furry Movies That Suck. Um, so, yeah, I have obviously not really seen much of the list because I had to obviously create this list. Theodore hasn't seen any I, of I the I haven't seen either. anything so far. So, he's seen them for the first time. But we thought we'd have a look and discuss and just rank them. And, you know, you might not agree with us, you might agree with us, but yeah. that's what the comment section's for, right? Yeah. So, as you can see from the tier ranking already, I have put Robin Hood and Zootopia in. Um, All the way at the top. They are at the top S tier, they're not even up for debate. No. <laughs> I thought I just put them in no. because, honestly, if I didn't put those two movies in, I think the comments I... would be littered with, where's Zootopia? I'd be Where's angry. Robin Hood? They are, they are <laughs> you know, they're kind of god tier, but they'll sit on S and they serve as benchmark, I think. Yeah. So, the first movie we've got is... The Dog City movie. Dog City. So that's the uh, That was Jim the Henderson. Jim Henderson puppeteer one. I, I really liked that. I love the puppets. It was good. Um, the set was amazing. Yeah, it's a little dark. I like oh, it. Oh, it was it's, dark. It's very adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's and just Jim Henderson, though. His yeah. stuff is more dark and it's more gritty in the middle. I mean, it's, it's quite short for a movie. It's like 40 minutes or so. We've got a lot yeah. longer than that. I don't recall it being a feature length, but... No, 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 it's, no. It's more a TV, it's, TV yeah, movie. Yeah, it's a TV movie. It's really lovely, though. Oh, it um, is, and not many people know about it. So, I mean, I think, honestly, where would I... I I'm going to probably say that's maybe an A or a B. Uh, yeah, a B, I'd say a B. You reckon a B? I reckon a B. I, I think a B. And we could always move it upwards from a B. Why, well, is there okay. stuff that's really going to make me go... Well, you might find <laughs> later on that we find there's <laughs> other films where we say, well, you know, if that's a B, then that really should be an A. Yeah, that's a good point. But, you know, I don't think it's a fix in stone. Because the next one I've got is... All dogs go to heaven. Okay, right. That's well, a bit of classic Don Bluth there. Growing up, as I saw All Dogs Go to Heaven when it first came out, um, I have a massively real soft spot for the I think, I think a lot of people have. I mean, I think it's it probably safe cry. to say that a lot of people here watching this video probably would say, I cried a lot at that movie. Thing is, I'm a massive Don Bluth fan anyway, so I, yeah. would, I would put that definitely... Oh, it's difficult, because I, I know some people think, don't like it as much I nowadays, think for but me, I me think, personally... For me personally, I'm going to say A. Yeah, I'm going to say A At the a moment, well. I don't think it's S. I, I just don't... S is a really hard tier to put things yeah. in. Yeah. Second one, on the other hand, not so much. Also, I've just seen what our next movie is, so this, this is going to be a good one. Uh, Country Bears Jamboree. Yay! So, you know what I have Guilty to say... Guilty Pleasure Film number seven. Well, you know what I have to say. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Yay, Bears! I think we're going to say... Oh no, Country Bears House. Oh dear. Well, see, see, anyone who hasn't actually watched this movie, because I don't know how popular it is. Oh, it's, go it's watch it. Not the, yeah, go watch it on Disney+. Plus. If you've got it's, it on Disney+, Plus, it's a right it little gem. It's not a good film. I'm going to be honest yeah, here. It's, no, it isn't. Know. It's terrible, but it's trash and it's guilty pleasure. Oh. Christopher Walken choose the scenery. Oh no! Country Bear has been crushed! They choose um, everything. You know, there's, they, it's predictable. People, the scenery. bears are scary. Air. There's some very odd background shots, some Camera weird food. cameos, and the music is predictable. And the, it is a predictable story. It is a lot of fun, and but I could see why you wouldn't if like you're, it. If you're into animatronics or if you're into uh, puppeteering stuff like, you know, like the Jim Henderson Turtles and stuff, these are the apex of the end of that cinema. Uh, I, th cinema. I think they I'm going to move it. I think I'm going to move it. I, I think Almost for me, wasted on I that think film. C tier. Yeah, C tier. Ah, right. Okay. Now the next one we've got up here. We've got Rock Dog. Ah. Now this is a film that our camera bird absolutely adores. Oh, I, I know. I know. Red, I know. Red would put this probably at S tier. Um, it's a lovely movie. It didn't get as much of a release as it probably should have, Absolutely not. Um, the music's really good. It's very colourful. Yeah. I can understand why some people have some reservations about it, though. It's, you know, it, it's... I don't personally get those, but that's just me. I mean, the animation is definitely C-tier animation. It's not as yeah. good as, say, it's nowhere near Zootopia, but... It's not Zootopia, but at it's At the same not... time, what they have animation-wise, model-wise, and uh, lighting-wise, and stuff like that, 
they get the most out of it. And uh, Eddie Izzard pretty much steals the show. So, yeah, I mean, it's I an like interesting it. cast of people there. Um, I mean, I like it. I would happily, if someone puts it on in front of me now, I yeah. would happily watch it and enjoy it. There you go. So where do you rank it, then? I personally would rank it a B myself, but that's me. Yeah, I was going to say A, actually. A? a? Oh, going... okay, if we're going that way. But I mean, I... if you want to say B, I could go B. Uh, I say B. I'll concede for B for now. Yeah. Okay, because it's definitely... Yeah, I mean, if I said oh, put that next to Dog City, I'd probably say, yeah, that's about fair. Oh, God. Um, mm. Rockadoodle. Oh, I hate Rockadoodle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm not. Sorry, I hate Rockadoodle. I've watched it once, and I've never felt I inclined to go back no. to it. I'm sorry, birds. <laughs> nah. Oh boy, um, it's not it's not as awful. I don't think as some of the stuff we're probably gonna find. It's the one with the ever. Elvis Presley. Yeah, yeah, no, it does doesn't work for me. No, I think I think it's a D tier. I don't think it's F. I don't think it's. I'm willing to go lower, but you go D. I go D. It's fine. You wanna go D? Uh, mm, Do you wanna I'm... go F? We could I it. really don't like Rockadoodle at all. So okay, let's put, it, let's put it in the F tier for the moment then. <laughs> well, we're going to a bit of Ardman animation now. We got flushed away. I did like this. It's not my favourite Ardman. Uh, okay. Especially not compared to like Boris and Gormit. This was the first Ardman animation where they went CGI and personally wasn't that keen on it. Uh, again, that's mostly because... I think it's an okay mm, movie. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's okay. I know, I know some people really like it. It's a uh, Marmite. That's why I think. think it kind of sits happily in a C tier. Okay, I rank it lower, but I'm okay with I think C is a, a good argument. It's not the worst way of spending an afternoon. No. It's certainly not, you know, as bad as some of the films could be. Um, so next up on my list, I've got Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, what more do you need? You've got Batman, you've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I guess we need something for all the turtle furs out there. Um, I won't lie, I'm not overly familiar with this one. I'm not um, overly familiar with it either. It's the first time I've heard. I remember <laughs> seeing it when Truck sent me the list, and I was kind of like, hmm, I'll leave it in. This one I've seen bits of and I know of, and it is supposed to be very good. I'm guessing it's one of those Warner Brothers straight to video um, yeah, movie I, things like the like uh, Return of the I Joker. I think it's and very like unfair that. to rank something we don't know well enough, so I, should we say C? Should okay, C? yeah. So that way we're kind of in the middle. Honestly, it could be great, I, it could be bad, but I don't feel like I'm saying it's bad. I don't know about that one, sadly. Okay, what's next? <laughs> Ooh, food fight. Okay. F. Oh, God. So, yeah, what was this? This was Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen kills everything. There is a man who went off the route. Oh, food fight's so bad. Um, the CGI So, we're going to say F on this one. That, that can't go F. anywhere else. I, I don't think it's fair now to put Rockadoodle next to Okay, food move fight. Rockadoodle up. Because, I mean, Food Fight is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, bad animation, uh, the whole thing about the insurance fund. There's all kinds it's of things in that It's a very dodgy film. movie. Oh, it's oh, awful. Dear. And next up, we've got Ernest and Celeste. Or is it Celestine? Um, yeah, Celestine. Um, that's that really, really beautiful animated French movie about that bear who makes friends with the mouse. Oh, right, yeah, and sorry. And yes, I, yes, yes. Funny enough, I actually first watched that Round Trucks. Yes. Um, and it was absolutely Absolutely astonishing. astonishingly I, It's a good. film I think every furry should watch. It's both yeah. beautiful, the animation, it's really warming. It is, um, it really is. I'm actually happy to even say this might be an S tier. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that, actually, if I'll be honest with you. It, it was a film that's still in my memory, apart from the name, weirdly enough. I think I think S tier for this. I, th I think actually putting that in an S tier, if we say furry films that you need to watch in your life, that's definitely one of them. Yeah. Oh dear. Norm of the North. Okay, right. Um, now this, believe it or not, there's three Norm of the North movies now. There's two oh, I can't... straight to DVD We sequels. found them on Netflix, yeah, didn't we? And or... neither of them feature the original voice cast. No, surprise. Even, even what's his name? Uh, the one... That... The one who voiced Norm. Uh, oh, I know what you're about. Um, yeah. And he's not exactly friend. expensive, was Can't he? think of his name now. I'm putting a picture of him up on the screen. But um, yeah, even he didn't return for the other two. No. That bad. That bad. This is a bad movie. It's my first furry movies that it, suck list. I it guess. has a lemming that pisses into oh, a God, fish tank God, that a for a, 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 a literal 60 seconds. Oh. oh, boy. It's so bad. Yeah, I bet based on that, if... It yeah. doesn't. It, that is with food fire. CGI that my dream cast could Three do. Three movies that used to put in a duck skip and set on fire. Yeah. Food fire. Normal and North. Yeah. They should be sent for a rocket and off this earth. All in prints. a bag. Off, off a, a cliff. cliff. Yeah. Beautiful. I hate that. They they are fucking <laughs> shite. Oh, here's a controversial one up next. What's that? Nut job. Now. Um, okay. Uh, what can I say about that nut job? Um, Go on. Then. I. The first one is a lot better than the second. 
Um, I don't think the first one's all that good anyway, but it I... does have Liam Neeson as a raccoon, so there's a little oh, bit of bias yes. there. So <laughs> I'd be willing to consider C tier and up for this one. I... My personal opinion, you know, is different than this because we've always you really never like seen. It. Yeah, we don't see eye to eye on this one. I love the nut job. I know the CGI is not perfect. Yeah, but you I could like say. the main. I like the main character. He's a bit obnoxious, but I do like the main character. It's not because he's purple. Um, <laughs> but no, I really, really liked the first one, and I saw the second one on my own. Yes. And I actually really liked the second one as well. I have for the record Although, since seen the second one. You have seen the second one? Oh, fuck. It's awful. Okay. I kind of liked it still, so... It weirdly sneaked in some quite funny little jokes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 up, me. I'm up with the 12% on Rotten Tomatoes on that one. Well, I personally would say B, but there no, you go. I'm not going to go over there. C? Uh, I could do C. C can I we think... do C and a half? No. I think C is very fair. Go on then. I, it's more system, than fair for this film. Your system will allow it. Exactly. Um, so we've got one movie left. What's that? Okay. Um, it's The Penguins of Madagascar. Okay. Well, again, I, we, <sighs> we don't see either one um, on this one either. No, right. How do, I, how do I put it? I don't like Madagascar. Sorry, Madagascar fans. It's certainly not a movie that I, like I would Madagascar. choose to put on. You quite like it. I really like Madagascar. The Penguins were one of the better bits of Madagascar. Um, I don't know personally if I felt that that was good enough to have a movie made of themselves. Um, they certainly worked when they kind of pulled the minions out of Despicable Me. Yeah, um, that was quite funny. You know, but um, yeah, I, I mean, you, you, well, let's you let me put it this way. What? They're a lot better than the minions from Madagascar. From, yeah, um, true. But I really like them. I, I like the writing As for them. As a furry them. movie, if, if you were having a party with a load of furs coming around, would you put this on the playlist? Actually, yeah, I probably would. I haven't actually thought about this movie for a while because I just forget this DreamWorks stuff exists. Yeah. Sorry, DreamWorks I, I kind of liked it, <laughs> but again, it's because they didn't try and crowbar in the Madagascar characters. Oh. They just kind of let them do their own thing. Yeah, I mean, it is fun. It's well received, and I know audiences do love it. It is a fan favourite. I do. I could go B on this. So you hate it, but you go B. Okay. I will. I can understand why other people will like it. I'm I, not saying it's a bad movie. It's I not personally one for would me. go B, but that's me. But we'll go with B. Then. Actually, I probably no, 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 no. Actually, in the great like kind of, of thing of things, I'd say C. You reckon C? What yeah. do you think? I think B. You say B. I think, I think B. It's okay, go well B. Well animated. Go it B. is light. I don't like it personally. I don't. I'm gonna put it down. But can I just say? Um, Oh, what's his name? Um, Cumberbatch as a husky. So, oh, oh my God! Yes, uh, maybe it's quite, worth being in B for he that. He was quite hard. Yeah. For um, that, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say, I forgot about if we look at what and we've the gay got polar here, bear. Yeah. If we look at what we've got here, right? Um, oh, I mean, I think know. it's definitely Matt is, for example, better than Nutjob and Flushed Away. So, I mean, just a quick look at the last rankings. In the S tier, we've got Robin Hood's Utopia and obviously Ernest and Celestine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think they can stay. Um, then we have got All Dogs Go to Heaven in A. I think that's a very reasonable argument. Yeah. Um, we've got Penguins of Madagascar, Rock Dog, and Dog City in B. I would actually might say, can we move Rock Dog up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. So, C tier, we've got Flushed Away, Country Bears, Batman, and Ninja Turtles, and Nut Job. I could yeah. move Nut Job down to a D. No. I'd have no problem doing no, that. You're not you won't doing let that. me. You really won't let me. No, I like that. I like Nut Job. Oh, fine. I like it. Okay, fine. Rockadoodle is a D. Fair. I think Rocket that is can go D. F and beyond. I think there's probably a lot of people who would put Country Bears down below D, but I uh, wouldn't. Christopher Walken. Um, you know, F. We've got Norman and North and Food Fight, and I think that is a very reasonable argument. I think that's a good argument. Yeah. So you know, there we go. That's our ranking of some furry movies that our friend Truck sent us. Um, that was you know, fun. What furry? How would you rank these furry movies? Do you agree with what we said? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let us know. Uh, we might consider doing this again, or yeah. we'll pick some other furry subjects. Yeah, pick more subjects. There's plenty of furry movies out there to go around. It's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, or consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link in the description below. I'm Shadow Raccoon. And I'm Theodore Rabbit. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.